let us continue. jobs from our computer. Hmm. Have I already talked to everyone? I think that we have, but... like to arrange a meeting between you and one of our representatives. You'll find him at the cafe nearby. His name's Luca Dewar. He'll be expecting you. Come alone. Okay, interesting. So there are two uh, jobs here. Okay, we're, we're already one-fifth of the way, that's awesome. Do I have pay data? No, I don't. Okay, so let's go to the cafe, we'll talk to Luca. Excuse me, being really uh, stuffy right now. I think I'm going to lower the volume just a tad. So you reject the rigor, eh? Blade Monica Schaefer's replacement. Good. You look the part. Let me get right to business. My organization would like to retain your services for the indefinite future. But first, we're asking you to go on a trial run. An audition of sorts. To prove that you're the right man for the job. Assuming you complete this trial to our satisfaction, I'll then offer you a variety of simple tasks. All of these should be achievable in the course of your everyday business. You won't need to go out of your way to expose yourself uh, or expose yourself to much unnecessary risk. For each task that you complete, you'll be rewarded handsomely. It will be a bonus if you finish them all. So I pique your interest. Um, 
Now, who, who are you? Who, who do you work for? My organization knows everything worth knowing in Germany, including this small pond that is Berlin. Hmm. Sure, whatever. Now on to the task at hand. There's a man named Ailshire. He is a senior manager at Hermes Eurocom, and a respected figure in his community. My organization also suspects him of working with pro-corporate extremists. These people are actively working to undermine the flux state and pave the way for a corporate-controlled Berlin. My organization has no desire to see Berlin fall to the corporations. Uh, no more desire to see Berlin fall to the corporations than you do. However, we are hesitant to act on our suspicions without proof. That's where you come in. No. Not directly, no. But we need to place them under surveillance. You'll meet with a team that I've arranged for you. And with their assistance, you'll plant listening devices in this apartment. Take the U-Bahn to Frankfurt or Tor and go alone. The rest of your team will meet you there. Yeah, hang on, I have to. Oh, okay. Sure. Very good. From the moment that you're that you board the train to Frankfurt tour, your test will begin. I will advise you to bring what you need in terms of medical supplies and ordnance. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's go check it out. I sure love a good Frankfurter. Oh, this is, uh, Cafe Guy's daughter? She not his daughter. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. Whew. Dietrich down here. Figured I'd run to you here, boss. Wanted to be sure that I caught you before you headed off. Jack the Rigger, we need to have a talk about this humanist gig. Okay, go ahead, Dietrich. Well, I've got a history with Humanus. I fought him back in 39, during the Night of Rage. Hell of a thing that was. I remember the terror, the senseless violence, the murdered children. I remember this little dwarf boy that stuffed his body in the gutter, Jack. I can still see his face, all bruised and broken. To this day, it makes my blood boil. Anyway, long story short, we beat them. Berlin's punks and anarchists all came together. And we stomped the living dreck out of uh, those racist pigs. A lot of good people died that night. But we put down some of the bad ones, too. Oh, he has to come. 
my nephew Alexander. He signed on with Humanus, driven to it by his worthless sack of a dad, no doubt. I take it his father, your brother, is a Humanus member too? Nah, that'd take a level con of conviction, a quality that he thoroughly lacks. My best guess is treating Humanus as a boarding school. They feed and house their recruits, and that's money that he'd rather spend on himself. So he dumped the boy off on them, never mind the fact that they're fascist swine. I've got to get Alexander out of there, Jack, before it's too late. Those monsters are experts at warping young minds. It's how their disgusting ideology propagates. So I'm asking you as a personal favor to let me come along on the run. I have to get into that compound, Jack. I have to find Alexander. I have to turn him around before those animals make him do something unforgivable. Yeah, of course. Thanks, boss. I never doubted you'd bring me, of course. You're a good man for that. But it's good to hear it all the same. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, do we have metal supplies? Did we bring anything with us? Oh, okay, we did. Let's go to Frankfurt door. I'm sure this will go well. As the U-Bahn hums toward the Frankfurter Tour, you tug idly at the fabric of your maintenance uniform. You found it in a duffel bag on your seat when you boarded, along with a note from Dewar to put it on before your arrival. The moment you step off this train, the note said, your trial run begins. You are to rendezvous with the rest of your team, reconnoiter the building, and plant the specified devices in Alshire's suite. Beyond that, your approach will be left to you. Do not disappoint us. You are being watched. Can I just have my drones to it? You're with maintenance? <laughs> no, I'm a shadow runner. This uniform is just a disguise. Yes, sir. Have you seen any other maintenance guys around here? <laughs> Yeah, they've been trickling in over the last 15 minutes or so. I've already done a security check on your entire crew. Everything checked out, so you're good to head on to the building. I'll just get moving then. Have a good one. A maintenance dwarf. Hello. Are you my team? A young dwarf looks up at you, wide-eyed with apprehension. From the way she's fidgeting, you can tell she's terrified. She bites her lower lip, eyes darting from side to side. Finally, she takes a step towards you. Um, hello? Are you Mr. Jack the Rigger? Hmm. I take you on my maintenance crew. Yeah, um, yeah, I am. My name is Jaina. She tries on a smile. It falls away almost immediately. You sound nervous. Are you sure you're up to this? I'll... I'll be okay. But I have some bad news for you. Our teammates sort of, um, jumped the gun a little. They're already inside.
Great. Fantastic. I'm sorry. I told them to wait, but they just didn't listen. They just muscled on past me and waltzed through the front door. Alright, calm down. I see you have a toolbox. Do you have something stashed in there for the rug? Well, I'm in a manner of speaking. She opens the box and shows her its contents. It's packed to the brim with an assortment of hand tools. I'm not like you, not like the others. You should probably know that. Oh, she actually, like, a maintenance person. Then what? Uh, keep talking. Violence makes me sick to my stomach. I've never broken into a building or stolen anything in my life. I guess that what I'm trying to say is I'm not a criminal. I'm just an electrician. <laughs> yeah, I'll look after you. Thank you. I, I really mean that. I'll try to take care of myself as best I can. I don't want to be a burden. I brought my taser, and I have a little holdout pistol for self-defense. But I've never fired at a living thing before, let alone a person. I'm really hoping I won't have to. I understand. Now, you said our teammates are inside. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I watched them storm through the front door of the building that we're going to hit in about, uh, about ten minutes ago. A lot can happen in ten minutes. They'll still be on the first floor. Nobody's getting upstairs until I bypass the security locks on the elevator. That's why I decided to wait for you out here. I figured that they couldn't get too far ahead of us if I didn't go inside with them. Good thinking. Thanks. I just hope it won't screw up things in there. All I want is to get this thing over with and go back home. Level corporate compound complete with living spaces on the upper levels. Okay, we're already cleared to go in, he said, so. Let me just take a, a look. Oh! Welcome to the Calf Shack, home of budget-friendly caffeine fix. May I help you? Oh, uh, it's just, uh... Ah. Uh, okay, is she a drug dealer? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. I'm gonna save. It's too high. Oh, okay. Maybe this is how we escape. Escape. <sighs> As you step through the door, you find yourself confronted by a pair of men wearing the same kind of uniform that you are. Judging by their expressions, there is no love lost between the two. Hearing the door swing open, they turn to face you. The shorter of the two, a human with arcane symbols tastefully embossed into his belt, glares at you. 
you've finally arrived. And you've brought our little mouse of an electrician with you. Better late than never, but not much better. You're tardy enough as it is. I'll leave you two to keep our pack mule in line. Ooh, wonderful hair. The elf's lips curl into a snarl. Hanging from his back is a bulging pack that looks incredibly heavy. His broad shoulders sag under the weight of whatever's inside. He's dumb as a post, but he can lift heavy things. Might not be bad in a fight, either. At the very least, he can soak up a few bullets for the rest of us. Jeez. Staring daggers at the mage, he spits out a long string of foreign words in a single susurrant. Susurrant? Breath. I have no idea what that word means. The sound of it is lovely, but his expression leaves little doubt that the message behind the words is an ugly one. Oh, and I hope you can speak sparethial. Damned useless immigrants. Wow. Uh, so this guy is a fucking asshole. What does he bring to the party? So pack mule guy at least probably has something important in his pack, I'm assuming. Electrician lady we need. What do you do, James? Keep your opinions to yourself, buddy. You may be the leader of this team, but I'll speak my mind whenever I please. Get used to it. Oh, and by the way, think you could have gotten here any later, pal? I've got an important meeting to get to. If I'm late, the shit is going to hit the... This, this isn't getting us to your meeting any faster. No, it isn't. So let's get back to the penthouse and plant the cameras. I'll mask them against detection, and then we can all go our separate ways. Okay, so that's what he brings to party. Yeah, it's enough. Um... Yeah, I would totally help this dude. I told you, he can't understand a word you're saying. Nothing's come out of his mouth but that pigeon drivel the elves call a language. A tear tanjar dialect, if I'm not mistaken. I wish he'd do us all a favor and go back. Okay, let me try and elf him. The elf's dialect is completely foreign. It's quite unlike the form of sparethial spoken by the elves of Ternog. You can only manage to catch a few words. You, terrible insolence of threatening. See if at all. Uh, yeah, calm, calm thyself. Yeah, okay, how do we get into that penthouse? If you can get me to a building access panel that's on the same circuit as the penthouse, I should be able to put a security system into maintenance mode. The job will take some creative rewiring. Creative rewiring. Well, that and whatever's in the pack that that elf is carrying. Our employers gave me the schematics. And do you know where we'll find that access panel, mouse? Quit calling me that. And yes, I do. There's an access panel in one of my mid-range, uh, in one of the mid-range apartments on the same floor. My contact gave me a key code that should get us in. You've said should twice already. That makes me feel uneasy. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. It's the plan I was given, and we're stuck with it. 
Unless you have a better idea, we'll just have to follow our instru instructions and hope for the best. Get me to a building access terminal on this floor, and I can rewire the elevator. That's the first thing we need to do. Once we're upstairs, we use the code I was given and rewire Ailshire's security system. And we hide the, the cameras in his apartment. Well, that's the theory. I've got a bad feeling about this. Stressed suit. Okay, let's talk to the suit. The well-dressed orc stops his pacing to stare at you as you approach. Heavy worry lines etch his forehead and his eyes are bloodshot. He looks like he hasn't slept in a month. I don't want to be rude, but I'm a little busy right now. If it's about building maintenance, take it someplace else. Watch it. You don't get to talk down to me like... Like a janitor? Yes, I do, because that's what you are. If you want to keep wearing that uniform, you'd better watch that attitude. Whoa, does he have, like, an amazing mustache? I think he does. Now, isn't there a floor you could be cleaning or something? I've got a lot of my mind to worry about. Important things. I don't want to be bothered. Hey, man, just chill. It's all going to work itself out. Look, sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to be unpleasant. It's just I have a huge presentation to give to the board in 20 minutes. I stayed up all night practicing. And now I'm so tired I can't even remember my own name. My name's Stressed. Stressed Suit. That's rough. I'm going to botch this. And the worst part is, most of those bastards will assume it's just because I'm an orc. They already make jokes behind my back. After this, it's gonna get a lot worse. Yeah, best of luck, dude. A boutique food kiosk. No, okay. I don't want to waste time eating. Okay, okay. So I don't want to mess with that guy. Corporate woman. A well-groomed corporate couple stands in the corner, browsing racks of pamphlets about neural enhancement hardware. Upon seeing your uniform, her nose wrinkles. Oh, hello! Are we in your way? We wouldn't want to keep you from your work. Right, the last thing we'd want to is uh, come between you people and whatever it is that you do. Got to repair the flux dilator. Mm, it's not dangerous. We should call security. No need to bother security. We're on the job. You need to enjoy your shop. So, what are you looking at? This. It's a pediatric skill wire plus system for our son. Our little hands deserves the very best, and he'll need it if he's going to compete with his classmates at the academy. That means hardware from Augmentech. We may not be as rich as the other parents, but this at least is something we can do. He must be very devoted parents. 
Well, I'd like to think that we are. Uh, no, it isn't cheap. But unfortunately, these sort of enhancements have become nearly mandatory at top tier schools like the Academy. Our son's classmates come from affluent families. Even the least successful of Hans' peers has a pediatric encephalon, and it ranges on up from there. The Academy grades on a curve. If we were to send Hans to school without any enhancements, it would be setting him up for failure. Yeah, what about the kids that can't afford cyber surgery, huh? Well, they don't go to the Academy, I guess. The scholarship students, you mean? Well, I suppose that someone has to be at the bottom of the pile. But it won't be Hans, yep. Why does she look like, I don't know, a, a scientist or something? Why am I talking to them? How can I just end this conversation? Well, I suppose I wouldn't expect you to understand. Now, if you don't mind, I'll get back to shopping for my son. Go push your broom somewhere else. Okay, I don't want to talk to any of the shopkeepers. I already have, like, a general knowledge of how the social structure of this world is. I don't really need the world-building exposition. Oh. So let's not go in there. There was a panel in this shop. See that guard in the hallway? Well, he was standing next to a junction box just like this one. Looks like they're both on the same circuit too. So? So I could use this one to overload that one the guard is standing by. Yeah, I could find a nice power sp feed a nice power spike into that one from here. You know, if you wanted me to. Hmm. Is that going to start combat or kill the guy or... That's her idea, do it. I'm not making her do it. Oh. Hopefully, uh, he's not dead. I don't want to make her a murderer. Did a key card. Yeah, I think he's fine. So it's through here. Utility grid. Wordlessly, Janet pops an access panel at the base of the terminal and begins snipping wires. A few minutes later, she replaces the panel's cover and stands. Alright, that should do it. I've bypassed the security lock on the elevator. We're good to head upstairs. Let's get moving. Let's. I'll save again when I get upstairs. Alright, I'm gonna need you to get me this floor's access panel. That'll be in room 303 on this floor. The door combination is 14291. I'm gonna write that down just in case. Just in case they expect me to remember that. Since it does literally say, it, make sure you write that down. Yeah, I've got it. 
Okay, once I'm in there, I can't put the penthouse door in maintenance mode. That'll set its key code, or I can. That'll set its key combination to one, 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 so we shouldn't have any trouble getting in to plant the cameras. We've been making halfway decent time. Not good, but not terrible. But I can't afford any more delays. I hope that no one else gets in our way, for their own sake. Let's get this done. Let's. The sooner I'm rid of you people, the better off we'll all be. That's the first thing you've said I think we all agree on. If we didn't need you to finish the run, I'll bet that Jack the Rigger would have beaten the tar out of you already. No, don't say that. Don't say that, Jaina. Don't, don't start a fight here. Sadly for us, you do need me. Believe me, I wouldn't be here if you didn't. Oh, and by the way, we're going to have words when this run is over, mouse. A stream of caustic syllables pours out of the elf's mouth. His back is stooped under the weight of his pack, but his hands have clenched into fists. <laughs> Look, it's trying to speak! I want to get this over with, Jack. I want to get away from these people and go home. Yeah, me too! Why well, am I here with a bunch of weirdos? Oh, okay. So that's a locked door. Penthouse door. Okay, we need to get her to 303 first. Three hundred two. Three hundred one. So let me guess. Three hundred three. What's this? Door console. Unmarked door console. Let's just go to three hundred three. Let's follow the plan. Uh, this trendily designed panel reads: Apartment three hundred three. A slick, high-grade keypad has been mounted into the door frame. Use the keypad. One, four, two, nine, one. Code accepted. Welcome, homeowner. There was like a, a utility terminal or something in here. Oh, okay, it's behind the painting. Moving the painting aside, you find a large maintenance access panel. Janice steps forward, a slight frown on her face. Okay, I guess that this is me. She pulls a multi-tool from her belt and uses it to loosen the bolts that hold the panel in place. Pulling up a schematic on her PDA, she examines the terminal's wiring. Hurry it up, woman! The clock is ticking! Don't rush me, this is complicated. Popping the lid on her toolbox, she grabs a pair of wire clippers, a soldering gun, and a roll of electrical tape. With a look of grim determination on her face, she begins to snip into a massive harness of cables that runs through the unit. Alright. I'm gonna need that thing now. The elf nods and reaches back to unsling his pack. Placing it on the floor, he opens it and pulls out a large blue canister. It takes all of his strength to wrestle it up from the ground and into the space on the access panel that Jane has cleared. There you go, you dumb ox. Do something useful for a change. The elf says nothing. Unburdened by the heavy pack, he stands up straight. And for the first time, you can appreciate how much larger he is than the corporate mage. He stares down at James, and his hands bunch into fists. Stay cool, man. If the elf understands you, he shows no sign of it. 
He continues to stare James down, and the mage continues to ignore him. Payload in place, Jaina goes back to work. It only takes a few minutes for her to screw, wire, and solder the canister into the harness. She inspects her work, nods, and turns to face you. Alright, job's done. Just need to do a bit of cleanup, and then we can get out of here. Nice job. Thanks, it wasn't all that difficult. Just a matter of following our employer's instructions. Hey, that's great, but time's a ticking, so let's keep moving. <laughs> to hell with the cleanup. We'll be gone before anyone notices anyway. Yeah, what was that canister? Beats me. For all I know, it could be full of pixie dust. They said I had to wire it into the wall at this junction, so I did. Oh, that's true, I'm not super comfy with that little. You haven't been doing this long, have you? The Lodge doesn't tell you things you don't need to know, and you don't ask. Your job is to do what they tell you. Take the money and keep your mouth shut. It's all very simple. The Lodge. You don't even know who you're working for, do you? You're leading this team, and you don't have a clue. Both of you, shut up. Somebody's coming. A tall, deeply tanned man rounds the corner at a jog and comes bustling into the room. You recognize him as the father that you spoke with at the Augmentech kiosk. He stops short when he sees your team and the smile falls from his face. You! The guy from the cyberware kiosk! What the hell is going on here? This is my apartment! I own it! You can't just waltz in here and start pulling the walls apart without my consent. We're maintenance. Look at look at the uniforms. Yes, I see that, but that doesn't give you the right to force your way into my home and start tearing up my walls. At the very least, you should have given me advance notice. This is a waste of time, and I'm already running late. If you don't take care of this idiot, I will. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah, shut up, James. Talk, th talk this out. The hell with that. We have a job to do, and he's in the way. Deal with him, and do it fast so we can get back on track. Uh... All right, buddy, you've asked for it. I want to know your employee number, and I want to know it now. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> I'm a member of the Homeowners Association for this level. You know what that means. I have a lot of pull with building management. Your days wearing that uniform are numbered. I promise you that. Uh, calm down, sir. There must be a problem at dispatch. You should have received a work order last week. Oh, I didn't receive a thing from dispatch, or from anyone else for that matter. My wife and I are entertaining guests here in an hour and a half, and our living room is ruined. I need to know what you're going to do to fix this, and that you'll clean the place back up, and that you'll put a new coat of wax on the floors. I need... To hell with it. I don't have time for this. Stand the fuck down, James. <sighs> fuck. James, you suck. Yeah, everybody stand down. Ugh. Okay, Elf is going towards James. James is going to Corp. Why is Jaina trying to slow down the Elf? Oh my... Frickin... 
What is going on? Stop it, damn it. We need him alive to complete the run. Okay, you're an asshole too, Elf. I thought you'd... you were maybe not, but... So my only options are to attack James, threaten Elf, or try and just step between Elf and James, but I still have to step between James and the corporate dude. Yeah, let's just step, uh, step between them. The elf comes up short, staring at you. He sweeps his vision from you to Jaina to James. Oh, he does know a little bit of German. Oh. So he was here to undermine the group the entire time. Awesome. Killers. Innocence of. Will not stand for. I not slave. All lodge men, bastards. I kill all. For an elf, I don't. We have to kill our elf friend now. I don't know what to do. We could just try and ignore him and run after um, the corporate guy. I don't know. Oh, holy shit, how are they there so quick? Well, I'm not in a good position now. Oh, crap. Get behind here. Acid stream is one AP. Wait, what did I just? I thought I clicked Acid Stream. Oh, this is useless. Oh my god. That almost killed me right there. Opening salvo. Doberman, it's all on you. You have failed me. Oh, she has like a little taser. Minus five AP. Okay, we can we can ignore him now. Wow. And they're gonna kill my drone now. I was not ready for this run. Holy crap. Really? I can't... Okay. Move here, receive the healing. Uh, 
And then, yeah, I have no idea what to do right now. Not at all. Let's have them come to us, I guess. Well, my drone isn't on anymore. This is a AoE, right? Hell yeah. Oh, but it's two APs. Will that catch them in it? Just one. Okay, that'll get all of them, but also my drone. I'm sorry, Meat Shield. Tasers very useful. Oh, I'm dead. I don't know. This is not a fight we can win. I just try and run and let the elf fight them. Like, surely the elf will fight them, right? No? Is the elf friends with them? Must have screwed up some dialogue options, maybe. 
There has to be something we can do. Unless this, like, mission's meant to be like a Kobayashi Maru or something. friend, their dwarf friend. to handle James a little bit differently. Okay, so maybe I need to not tell James to shove it, and maybe it'll stay a little bit cooler. Straight to the point. Good. I have an important meeting in a few hours, so let's get to the penthouse plant the cameras. Hmm. Okay, so this is pretty much going the same way. guy had a meeting or something. I don't know if that'll actually be meaningful, but... Maybe we need to pick different options talking to these people. I'm just browsing. So yeah, let's be real nice to them. That was a little bit friendlier of an interaction, but not not a whole lot. 
tech vendor. Oh, can we actually buy stuff here? I didn't actually talk to any of the vendors. Interesting. I am a little bit confused though because um, I didn't actually want to buy that for myself. I figured we could get the Encephalon and then I'll either give it to them directly right now or or um, like when he confronts us in his apartment. Dunkley's fine cloutiers. A ballistic cloth suit. Well, it is beautiful, but... Plus two charisma might be useful for this. Fine. This is so stupid. I'm buying a suit. Oh, it's way better armor than what I'm currently wearing. Team's gonna be super confused. I'm here just shopping. Knockout, so I'll just knock him out, right? Okay. Stone rental properties all over Munich. Okay, be nice to James, at least a little bit. I have to blow my nose.
Okay, that's a little bit better. I don't know if we've actually made any better choices this time, but... We probably should have um, tried to non-violently take down that guy. I'm going to save over here and go talk to the security guy just, just to see what happens. Hey, what's up, dude? Look, even with bad charisma, that wouldn't have accomplished anything. Good to know. That's a shame, I don't have a cyber deck. Or decking outside of. Okay, let's see if this goes any differently. I don't think it will. Back here. <sighs> yeah, keep calm.
so if we start murdering people, the elf's going to turn on us immediately. And he has a panic button. Nothing changed whatsoever. We need to reload. Yeah, those um those guards are just gonna completely wreck us. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this job so early. that actually changed anything, so I'm gonna save again right over here so we can scum it.
what if I just tell James to go ahead? Nope. So instead of the elf being hostile to us, it'll be James now. That's no better. Um, hmm. Do we just not have a way to talk our way out of this? Let's look at these other doors. There has to be something. Look at the pen ass. can't get back down. It's okay. We don't really have a choice. Alright, so we're just gonna have to play this out. I don't have any way around this. You, shoot elf, please.
Oh wait, he didn't, uh... Oh, did she miss? Ugh. my buddy from here? No. Uh, let's see. I can't put that on the drone. I could put it on her, though. Fire on them. All right, what a waste. So I need two AP because she needs so I guess walk out to fire it. Okay. Oh, I have a normal gun too. Three more out in the lobby. Well, there's one here, and then I guess two in the lobby. And there's another four over here, I think. I guess we don't have a choice but to put this guy down.
we so bad? I don't understand. We're all like at basically point blank range and every single one of us is missing. drone. Oh, I'm so sad. the alarm maybe. Not how I 
I expected to go through this run. Four more in there, I'm pretty sure. You are the most important member of this team, Jenna. You and your taser. Jack, let's hope you don't die. if I stay in the middle of this as an age. Maybe it's just two more. That's not too bad. Let's bring them closer. Oh, no. Dude, heal me, please. Out. 
is dead. No one else is coming up? Alright. Take us to zero, though. That's not as bad. Okay, that was bad. I should put the Amy thing on her again. Just one mage. That's fine, that's fine. Um, how close can you get? Reload as well. Well, we'll just have to take a hit. not go as planned. <sighs> he attacked me, our elf. The fucker tried to kill me. you'd been a better group leader, you wouldn't have let that happen. You'd have... Oh, for the love of God, shut up. Just stop talking. We're both sick to death of you. You need me to... Uh, to finish the mission. Yeah, so let's go do that.
Let's see. How about that? Okay, we can place a camera in the living room. Oh, medical supplies. You place the first camera it adheres to the ceiling with an audible click. James steps forward, his fingers bent, he whispers in a long string of hushed syllables that seem to vibrate in your mind. For a moment, nothing seems to happen. Then you blink, and the camera is gone. Done. Get moving to the next one. Okay, we've got a second one. Place the last camera, Jam steps forward and turns to stare you in the eye. When we get through with this run, I'm gonna tell my handler all about you. You won't work for the Lodge again. Not because you're an incompetent leader, but because I have pull and I don't like you very much. What do you have to say about that? security all over downstairs, right? Yep. Definitely gonna die. I wonder if that override code would work for the other rooms up there, like 301 and 302. Still in combat. Crap. <coughs> um, that's not super great. Okay. We can do this 
guys. Let's see if we can do this. Let's just run. Ah, I don't think that we can. Okay, James, can you get out of here? What about you? You can get out. You can get out. Let's all leave. Mission accomplished. Fucking finally. Call your handler and tell him the job is done. And be quick about it. I need to be on the next train out for you. <sighs> for once he and I are in agreement. I can't put this place behind me quickly enough. I want to just go home, hug my cat, and forget tonight ever happened. You punch Luca Dewar's com code in your PDA. A few seconds later, you hear the telltale click of a successful connection. Dewar's voice pours out over your PDA speakers. Direct the rigor. Job done, I trust. The yeah, arrangement completed. Very good. Now if you please, give me a status update on the members of your team. Uh, the elf turned on us. We put him down. Interesting. But the elf is dead was expected. He was a dangerous and unreasonable person. Disgruntled, you might say, after years of service in our employ. His betrayal of you was inevitable. Thankfully, with his death, we have gained valuable insight into your character. James's continued survival, on the other hand, was not expected. You're a very patient man, Jack the Rigger. This has been most informative. Let's see, see how adequately you complete the task that I set before you. Enter a song code in your PDA. Okay, so the cameras work. Nice. You're completely safe in here. Uh-oh. And 
that takes care of that. Please return to the KB. The remainder of your post-run interview will conclude upon your arrival. What the hell is that? What did it feel like? An explosion, of course. Just wanted to get an encephalus, whatever, for his son. Wow. Let's go confront Dewar. Your return trip to the KB is a quiet one. The train from the Frankfurter tour is empty, save for you. There's nothing to distract you from your thoughts. You're finished with the first part of your edition. Luca Dewar is waiting for you at the cafe to administer the second. Let's go talk to him. Let's see if my drone is ready yet. Hey baby, got my drone. Got that drone fixed? Hell yeah. The drone's got a custom AIOS stack on it. Someone wrote code that sits in the boot litter. Oh. Well, damn it. I don't want that drone. Maybe junkyard guy can help me out. Jack the Rigger, welcome back, and my congratulations on a job well done. If you wanted dead, you could have just said so. <clears throat> okay, I can roll with punches. I just realized he's not wearing a hat in his uh, actual 3D model. If you work for my organization, you may be asked to do things you find morally troubling. Sometimes it might even appear that we are lying to you. You can take comfort in knowing that everything we request of you is ultimately for the greater good. Yeah, that's true. Sweet. Now we part ways. That's cool. need the cash, so. Oh, Cammy, do you know anything about drones? No, 
Yeah, what exactly did you hear? If you do not spy, how will you know who's boss? Intel is important. How old is she supposed to be? I'm just a kid, what do I know? So is she like a teenager? Oh yeah, couldn't be out of her teens yet. All right. talk business with you. Damn it. Maybe I'll talk then. I'm told you've been quite busy of late. A wanderer of the shadows. My street rats tell me that business is picking up. Big sore calf. And a scon. All right. Oh, yeah, surveillance device. Helpful though. I need intel on this drone. Oh, what are what's up with you? Hey, buddy, sorry to bother you, but I could use some help over here. You want to make a little extra scratch? Shouldn't take long. Well, me and my buddy Victor got called in from the next keys over. Something's wrong with the sewers around here. Your local plumbers and mechanics are all useless. Vic and I talked to them. Tried to get them to give us some maintenance schedule uh, for your sewer pumps. They just scratched their heads and said just took care uh, that the machine just took care of itself. Oh, so okay. There's probably someone in the sewer that's been taking care of it. Maybe like a sewer monster. Victor went to sewers, went came back. Awful screams, okay. Fine, I'll do it. I want to talk to Sewer Man first. Not Sewer Man, Trump Yard Man. Oh, I can't. I guess it's Blitz I need to talk to about that drone. That's a drug dealer, I don't want to talk to him. Uh, what's your deal, Sammy? She's still like in like a weird BTL or something.
Whoa. I didn't even realize there was this place. Lucky strike. Do a cigarette. A young woman stands at the bar, smoking a cigarette. You've seen her face before. Lucky Strike, one of the mercenaries from Monica's files. A plume of blue-gray smoke spills from the corner of her mouth as she turns her attention to you. Hey, you need something? I don't believe we've met. I'm Jack. Jack the Rigger. Yeah, I know who you are. So how you holding up, champ? I heard what happened to your boss. She wasn't just my boss, she was a friend, though. Yeah, well, sorry for your loss and all that. A lot of people are still torn up about it. So you need something, or you're just gonna stand there staring. Oh, well, why did you bring up my boss? Did you know her? Yeah, I met her a couple of times. Seemed nice enough. But I knew her by reputation. You can't live in this keys without hearing about the queen of the KB. Oops. Can't say I was a fan. Yeah, you didn't really know her. That's true, but I do have eyes, and I can see what's been happening to the KBs since she got geeked. The whole place is falling apart, isn't it? And why do you think that is? Yeah, Monica did help a lot of people. <laughs> the illustrious Frau Schaefer helped people, right? She helped them so much they couldn't make things work without her anymore. She made herself into a leader here, and guess what? In an anarchist system, there aren't supposed to be any leaders. You and your friends, you followed Monica too. Obey her orders without question, right? Um... Yeah, I don't know, there were debates, sure. And at the end of those debates, Monica would put her foot down, and you'd wind up doing whatever she said, right? Don't bother answering. It was a rhetorical question. For such a rabid anarchist, your friend seemed off awfully comfortable being in power. Kind of a contradiction in terms, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, that is pretty valid. Uh, no thank you to, to Mexico 107. How about uh, I ban you? Thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> After I said that she was my friend explicitly, I could say that I never said she was my friend. And Mike made mistakes, everyone does. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not necessarily an anarchist. Surprisingly friendly. Can I go into the kitchen? That is a big troll or whatever. This place looks like ass. Why would I ever want to eat here? Or even just hang out here, really?
Oh yeah, we can go to the trauma clinic and get our encephalon, whatever the fuck. I found this schematic. Can you hook me up with this chrome? I had a piece of headwear shipped here. Can you install it? Of course it won't be cheap. Um, hmm. Holy crap, that is expansive. What does that give me? Oh, that's good though, I, w I do want it. Actress is increased by 6%. Incoming damage is increased by 3. So that's a downside. I don't want that. right now. Well, maybe the legs, but I'm gonna have more money. I guess I'll save up for the encephalon or whatever. Encephalon next. Let's go hang out in the sewers and now fight sewer rats or something. Oh, it can bring team. Awesome. This lucky strikes have to. Oh, and these are also cheap. Okay. Mellow. Let's bring lucky strike. that we'll need a Decker for a sewer run, but Glory will be helpful. Lady. 13. Um. Oh, maybe I should take Dietrich. Yeah, well, two people can heal, and um, he can haste glory. Yeah, let's see how that works. A ghostly labyrinth of tunnels and dead-end passageways makes up the network of sewers beneath the KB. You climb down the ladder into the shallow underworld and reel at the wave of foul smells that washes over you, clogging your sinuses and saturating your clothing. As your eyes adjust to the light, you find yourself standing at the edge of a narrow channel of murky gray-green water. The rush of churning water echoes down the tunnel. You catch a flash of motion in your peripheral vision something man-sized, moving fast, flitting across the far end of the tunnel. You strain your eyes to see it, but to no avail. The thing, whatever it is, is gone. It's a xenomorph. 
Or a Mutant Ninja Turtle. Could be that. Oh, I need to buy another drone. Ah, uh, because this drone sucks. I did not stock up again at all. Um. Oh yeah, we need another trauma kit. Alright, looks good. We have four karma. I do want three biotech. Those just rocks right there. <clears throat> uh oh. The den of evil. These metahuman bones have been picked over. Turn on the pumps. Let's, uh... Oh, okay. So these open these doors? Yeah, let's explore first. Let's see if we can find Victor. That you, Victor? The corpse has been eviscerated. Its limbs have been torn clean off, and its ribcage is oddly deformed. The tattered shreds of a blue maintenance uniform hanging loose off its. Oh god, is definitely Victor. You find a well worn manual entitled. Whatever the hell that means. The book is filled with depictions of turbine and pump cross sections, tools, and descriptions of maintenance procedures. A few of the pages have been bookmarked with colorful bits of paper. Number, okay, we need we should write that down so that I, I can reference it. Turbine cross section. Turbine eight two two eight nine six. Not very useful. Let's use these consoles now. Pump status. Stop. South turbine water flow failed. South turbine has been deactivated. So we turn on south turbine. Uh, 
this. Okay, so pump number two, the pump itself is clogged and doesn't work. So we're going to store the water flow from the south turbine and then go unclog pump two. Sure. not look like a friendly place. When's the sewer monster going to pop out? Oh, right now. They're feral ghouls. Oh, they are feral ghouls. Okay. Glory. Glory, use your claws. that immune thing came up, so does that mean that if these guys hit me, I get, like, poisoned or infected? I have shoot with her sword. Not ask her. Oh, but she has, like, cool abilities. A pommel strike! don't have armor, so it doesn't really matter. I thought there's just one more. Okay, that's uh oh no, not don't do that, Glory. Whoa well, well. Let's hang out up here and let them come to us. Wow, they can move so fast. Haste. 
I don't know if they be. Oh. Oh, they do have a little bit of armor. They really hate my drone. Oh, wait, wait, Fury Swipes. Oops. I know the hit friendlies. flow working before we start the pumps. A hyper sends a stash. Okay, hopefully we can get to the turbine. Oh, how do we get to the side? I guess we don't go to that side. Why did we open that door? water pumps because I have to start the turbine. Turbine. Of course. Eight, two, two, eight, nine, six. Yeah, I see you, buddy. doing health wise. Okay, two from that way. And what, there are two from this way? Jason, let's see. 
get over there. Pulling my drone. Water's flowing. We need to handle the pumps now. So pump one, we can just turn right back on, right? Pump two, though, we have to unclog. Intelligent feral cool. A not feral cool, just a regular cool. Please don't shoot. We're we're not like the others. Relax. Thank you, stranger. Considering my condition, I'd all but given up hope. Who are you? I speak for the KP's ghoul population. The Krieger strain may have ravaged my body, but I've retained my mind. I don't know anything about ghouls. Uh, HM HVV, the virus that has infected us, that's twisted us into this. We're not monsters, sir. We're people with an illness, incurable for now. 
and yet some of us cling to hope. You may think of us as lepers if you wish. We've lived down here under the KB for years. For all that time, this place has provided refuge from the world above. We traded our labor for sustenance, both for ourselves and for our feral brothers, and we survived. But now, our food supply has been interrupted, and the feral ones have gone mad with hunger. They're a danger to everybody, even us. And who was feeding you? A doctor, a topsider from your KB. He kept us fed, the contract guaranteed it. Under the terms of our deal, we maintained the pumps that kept the KB sewage flowing. In return, the doctor gave us medical waste to eat. With proper rationing, we found we could get by with what he gave us. The Decker monitored both sides to ensure our mutual co cooperation. But with her death, the doctor has reneged on the deal. Without the food guaranteed by the contract, the feral ones have gone mad, and in their madness they've made it too dangerous to maintain the pumps. Um, so Decker was definitely Monica. And is the doctor Dr. Escobar? flesh. stand like with their arms out like that. There's only four of you left. If you're calling to beg again, you might as well hang up now. I've been bled by you people for too long. There are plenty of chop shops and organ leggers out there who'd pay good money for... Uh, let me cut you off right there. There's Jack. Jack the Rigger? What, what are you doing on this line, my friend? Yeah, I have just had an interesting conversation. Helping the KB. Oh. I mean, he probably does deserve to be paid, though. Like, thing about it is pretty shitty that, like, he's personally having to, uh, like provide free medical waste to his people so they can help out, like, not him directly, but, like, the entire KB. It should be, like, the whole KB who are offering services or paying, like, some sort of tax for their services. I don't know. I mean, if it is medical waste, though, what else would you be doing with it? Would you be throwing it away? Uh, I'm going to go with the middle option, but I kind of agree with the bottom one. Yeah. Oh, well, if he did sign a contract...
like, especially in an anarchic society, wouldn't contracts be, like, absolutely necessary and held up in, like, a high standard? Like, isn't everything supposed to be done through, essentially, private contracts? What's secret? Okay. Why not? It is like a, a labor force that seems happy to just be doing something like a regular person. Yeah, they just want to be treated like people. Yeah, what sort of odd jobs? secret of his, I don't understand. Yeah, we could try and put like public pressure on him, I guess. Oh, that's true. regret going down this option. I thought there'd be like a way to back out of it. Oh well. well it's definitely not giving me any discounts on my cyberware. That's for sure. <sighs> oh, but I do not feel good about that solution. What are we going to tell this guy happened to Victor? We can't tell most ghouls. He might have, like, a mob go down there and exterminate them. The fresh air of the KB is a welcome relief after your time in the sewers. A cool breeze drifts across the street, carrying with it the smells of food being prepared. Cheap alcohol being poured and fires being lit against the cold. The stench of the sewers, however, still lingers in your nose. A bad factory aftertaste. At least the pumps are working again. Sewage overflowing into the streets would certainly smell far worse. So hey, maintenance guy. Let's take care of. You can leave. I don't know you actually offered me any money, but... Oh yeah, here, here's the maintenance manual. Oh, 500 bucks, okay. Or new yen. Not bucks. Let's go talk to Blitz about this drone. this drone at the hotel vault. Does it belong to you? Uh, what was it doing there? Oh, it's his personal drone. I 
Oh no, I wanted the drone. So it'd be nice to have an option here that's sure, and then without this, it's no use to me anyways, because it is of use to me. I, I'm a rigger as well. But sure, you can have it. Whatever. This is personal drone. Oh yeah, have you heard about the lodge? Oh, the BBS, okay. Yeah, I should check the BBS. Okay. Let's see uh, what other people think of the lodge. Oh, hello, puppy. I have to pet the pup. Naughty Lodge. Oh yeah, okay. Where is Dietrich? Is he still in the um in the U-Bahn station? I probably need to suck up on some better stuff. some better medical supplies. Hmm. Well, how much money do I have? 3,000 yen? Uh, yeah, I can buy a new drone, I think. Let's go ahead and buy a Strata 9. Nice. Who can sell me some nice medical supplies? Don't want to ever go back into that magic shop. The answer's bag. Oh yeah, why can't I interact with the bag? All right, I'll give her five bucks. I guess. Oh, hey, do you sell um more than just weapons? Consumables. No, these are all but oh, of course, I need to go talk to the doctor. Derp. Sorry about threatening you earlier, doctor. I need some medical supplies, though. Let's, uh, let's not remind him.
Oh, I can't even buy a level 2 med kit. Alright. Let's get out of here. Who are you again? Humanity front job. No, where is Dietrich? What a good pup. Where is Dietrich? on the BBS for the lodge. Gotta go through the conspiracy theorist BBS posts. Oh, there's Dietrich, right? Why can't I talk to him? Is it bugged out? Okay, it's just not interactable. Awesome. Okay, let's just go. The Night of Rage. You have to stay. In addition to your team, your fixer has access to a small network of mercenaries in the Berlin area. These runners appear below your core team on the runner selection screen and can be hired on a mission to mission basis. As you complete missions, both your team members and the available mercenaries will periodically gain access. Okay. So we gotta bring deep. for a hover drone. So we definitely want to bring glory. Do we bring Iger or Blitz? I might have to become a partial decker. I'll bring Blitz, whatever. Not even actually that good at decking. And his drum control is abysmal. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I agree. Hopefully we don't need a, a decker. The U-Bahn rattles to a halt at the edge of Kreuzberg. You're only a few blocks away from the Shrattenest. The keys that Maxim and his smugglers call home. According to Samuel, they should be expecting you. Awesome. One sec. for me to get another etiquette. But I could do that. leave it at that. Actually, what's my dodge? Could increase my dodge. Just save it. Of course I brought you. You were free to bring Dietrich. I didn't have to pay you. Even shower runners have families. Alexander, he's a good kid, you know. If I'd been there for him, if I hadn't run off to Berlin left him with that worthless sack of a dad. He'd never have fallen at those humanist pigs in the first place. Let's go find my nephew. Let's crack all the humanist skulls we can along the way. Fuckers have it coming in more ways than I can count. Sure. So we're not going to be doing this very stealthily or non-violently. Guten Tag, what can I get you? A soya-based curry roast. For only five million. Or a soup and sandwich combo for ten. Huh. Um. Yeah, let's have a soup and sandwich combo. The, the you pick two. It's wonderful. Delicious. Oh. I don't see many strangers at this end of the line. In case you hadn't noticed, things are a little run down. You weren't thinking of heading out past the wall, were you? Well, it doesn't make any difference to me, but you'd better be careful out there. The people on the other side of that wall, they've got no respect for anybody. for information on current and past donors. Oh no, maybe I should have brought the Decker. Um, 
I hope I can get that stuff without a decker. Whoa there, Beanpole. I don't know where you think you're headed. You should turn back around and go back the way you came. About business. Well, you look like you can handle yourself, but still, I'm telling you, the people out there are bad news. There are gangs on the other side of the barricade who'd skin you alive as soon as look at you. Alright, fine. If that's really what you want, we won't try and stop you. Let him by, Sergey. figure at the center of the group shoots you an insolent glance. His fine elvish features match Samuel's description. This must be Maxim, your smuggler liaison. Well, well, if it isn't the muscle that Tuck promised us. Look who it is, everybody. The new hires have elected to grace us with their presence. Nice of you to join us. <laughs> You're late, chummer. I got held up. I did. Well, you come highly recommended, so I suppose I'll overlook it. Let's get moving. Yeah, yeah, of course. Pile in, people, and be ready. There's rough country between us and the meeting site. We might run into trouble along the way. Sweet. Twenty minutes into the trip, the van comes to a screeching halt. Maxim presses his face to the passenger window. From the mix of anger and dread on his face, you can tell he doesn't like what he sees. Damn it, I knew this was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. Everybody pile out of the van and get ready. Jack the rigger, we're gonna need some muscle in a second. Great. <sighs> Leathery woman with wild hair. Hello out there. Welcome to Rambok territory. This keys belongs to the surf turf slag. Has for months. You'd better clear out of uh, here before they show up and force you out. Surf turf. Those tunnel rats. They're ancient history. Go ahead and call them if you don't believe me. Scream as loud as you want. They won't hear you. We buried him last week. Well, congratulations. You must have taken some losses in the fight, though. I'm betting you're not at 100%. Why don't you let us cross the bridge in peace? There's no need for any bloodshed. You know what? You're absolutely right. We don't need to fight. You just pay us a small toll, and we'll be more than happy to let you cross our bridge. I'm thinking, say, 500 million per van. Otherwise, you'd better find another way to get where you're going, because this bridge is ours. Nobody crossed without paying the, the troll toll. Nobody. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this does need to get violent. Get ready to ventilate these assholes, Jack. We've got a schedule to keep. Huh. <laughs> yes, Alex. I added the troll toll part. It's just a regular toll. And none of the people here are trolls, unfortunately. Um... Oh, jeez.
Yeah, nobody wants a firefight. Uh, I, I'm not. Okay. I don't have the gang etiquette. Oh well. So if we turn on the smugglers then... Then we fight everyone, right? So yeah, let's help them. Why are there... Are these explosive barrels? These yellow barrels? Turrets, okay. Why did I punch? I need to find some cover and activate my drone. Tiger for now. Sniper. I want to take out these turrets. Nice. Oh, I should have done that sooner. Surrounded on all sides. They're going to kill the smuggler. <sighs> Not much I can do, really. That side, Dietrich, what can you do? Can you do this without hurting that friendly? Okay, that wasn't bad. Good job, Dietrich. Oh, we have a different uh, ability now. Eviscerate. Let's eviscerate him. Um. Is that car that's in my way? This car right here? Oh, 
come on. Focus on this side now. That was crazy. Okay, what can you do? Good job. Kill this guy. Okay, I hear. Forty eight per cent. Oh no, they're going to kill that mage. Damn it. I don't want any of them to die. <laughs> We're so close to having everyone survive. Just one mage, Maxim. I guess we have to manually get back in the vans. <laughs> the quarter of the Humanus compound is strangely quiet. The only activity that you notice is the clatter of the mechanized gates as they rumble shut behind the vans. The bulldogs roll to a stop. You step out alongside Maxim and the rest of the smugglers. There are crates here, a lot of crates, all scattered in various stages of disorganization. It looks as though your delivery is just one of many that this branch of Humanus has received. The smugglers unload the cargo from their vans with practiced efficiency. The whole operation feels polished and professional. You can tell that Maxim is nervous. You can see it in his eyes. The smugglers finish unloading the last of the crates, then take up positions around the van. Minutes pass. Nobody comes to meet you. No welcoming party. This isn't a good sign. Huh. Yeah, maybe I should have a go, go have a talk with them. What are you gonna do? Knock on the front door? What makes you think they'll even answer? They've done a pretty good job avoiding us so far. Leave that to me, friend. They'll have a hard time avoiding us when I'm in there, kicking down doors and lighting fires. You've got to be kidding me. That's a Humanus compound, pal. You go in there, you aren't going to come back out. Yeah, I'm the muscle. This is my job. You're serious, aren't you? You're really going in there. Well, be my guest. I won't get in your way. When you make it back, if you make it back, we'll be out here waiting. Chemicals.
Warning, highly dangerous chemical agent. Do not take internally. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, mouth, and clothing. Increases aggression and reduces impulse control when inhaled. Avoid breathing fumes or vapor. Important, do not proceed unless material safety data sheet has been read and understood. No one reads those. So I guess let's go knock on the front door. their donor list. The Humanist compound smells like a locker room and doesn't look much better. Calling the building run down would be an understatement. Paint is peeling off the cheap duraplast walls and the tiles on the floor are mired with decades worth of grime. It's an old ugly place perfectly suited to the old ugly ideology being practiced here. You enter the compound. Information that Samuel Beckenbauer sent you uh, here to find lies somewhere ahead. Okay. You hear the familiar clicking sound of an audio connection being established with your comlink. A few seconds later, a soothing voice begins speaking into your ear. Oh. Now, Jack the Rigger, we've received reports that you may be headed into the Humanist compound. It's vital that their current leader remain unharmed. Other Humanist personnel are of little consequence. You may do with them what you will. But Volker's stall is ours. Do not disappoint. Well, I'll be really fucking hard with Dietrich here. So we have a door panel that likely leads into the code that we don't have. Or a password to the armory. Nice. Okay, what's in the kitchen? A handwritten note. Hey, Capel. You come highly recommended. Anyone who did what you did to those elves will go far around here. You can hit the kitchen anytime, but otherwise stay close unless otherwise told. Your locker code is 2619-LOCKER3. the metahumans. Sure. Try to power it up. Okay, a bunch of computers. Let's go back and see what was through that front door. It seems like this is where we're going to get our, our data. Okay, the locker room. Which one's locker three? A large red three. Two six one nine. A note. Recruit Capel, your enthusiasm at the rally was more than commendable. Those trog bastards really got what was coming to them. The Volker want to see you right away. Or Volker wants to see right away. His personal code is pride. Share this with no one. Pride. These are all locked. Okay. Pr 
tried. I don't think I need to write that down. Oh, really? Oh, this is armory. This is not his office. What the hell am I doing? I really should have brought Blitz, I guess. Read the pamphlets. Human, you work hard, you play fair, and still you can't get ahead. But have you ever wondered why? The answer is simple. The elf is using the orc and the troll as muscle against you. Think about it. When you turn on your tridio after a hard day's work, who do you see? The pampered elf, basking in the lap of luxury, squandering the money that you could be using to feed your children. When you walk through a dark alley on your way home from the market, what do you fear? The mongrel orc and the savage troll, lying in wait to rob you of your hard-earned gains. The elf, the orc, the troll, all are parasites leeching away at your prosperity and happiness. It's time to wake up and do something about it. So what are you going to do, human? Support the Humanist Poly Club. Together, we will show pride in what we are and defend ourselves from the jackals at our door. Defend ourselves. Human, they say that you can't get a job because of the economy, but you know the real reason, meta-humans. The elf, with his pretty boy looks, takes the high-paid corporate desk job, rises to the top, and blocks the top positions forever. Never aging, never retiring. The orc is willing to work for table scraps, driving the cost of labor down and depriving you of a decent wage. The troll takes all of the manual labor jobs. That's right, not even the sweat of your own brow can earn you a living these days. Join Humanus and turn the tide on economic repression. Humanus forever. Human, ever wonder why dwarf shops are all family run? Free labor, and whose businesses suffer? You guessed it, we, the humans, wind up paying in reduced sales and lost wages. Every day, another dwarf run store opens, and every time that happens, more dwarves flock to our neighborhoods, driving good, honest, human businesses out. They say it's for community, they say it's for protection. But why can't they keep to their own neighborhoods? What are they hiding? Stand up for your people. Stand up for what's right. Join the Humanist Poly Club. Humanist forever. Uh, so I'm going to try using Defend Ourselves at the Armory. Oh, well, worth a shot. And that pamphlet was in the same sentence as the all uppercase word pride, which we know is uh, a password for something else, so I figured maybe that was also a password. I'm guessing those three pamphlets and three machines here. There are clues in here. Okay. Wake up, do something, and defend ourselves.
really wish we want the droplets. This is the donor list. Maybe. Oh. A stocky man in a military surplus jacket enters the room. He's flanked on either side by a pair of young women. Their faces are masked by white kerchiefs, and each of them carries an unholstered pistol. Lower your weapons, girls. We have a guest. The soldiers exchange glances, then lower their sidearms. They look at you, their stares full of hatred and bile. There, that's better. I've shown you hospitality, elf. Now it's time for you to return the favor. So tell me, why are you here? Yeah, the smugglers want to be paid. Dandelion eater. going to be glorious, Elf. That gas that you hauled in for us, it's going to prove every word that we've been saying. The trogs, the halfers, the goddamn dandelion eaters. One whiff of this stuff and they're going to tear each other apart. And they'll spill into the good human neighborhoods where we'll be waiting to stop them. You just watch and wait, mongrel. It'll be a bloodbath. Stop this. Oh, well, we found the nephew. Alexander. Uh, Uncle Dietrich? Shoot him, Alexander. This man is an intruder and a traitor. Come here to do us harm. If you're gonna put a shell in someone, put it in stall. He's a monster, Alex. I know you can see that. Hmm. You swore an oath to us, Alexander. You will be a man and keep it. And make your choice, but make it fast. up to you, Alex. <laughs> yes, Alex Manster. If you betray your kind to join these meta lovers, we'll put you down, boy. You hear that? We will kill you. That definitely is what you say to someone to, like, make them want to agree with you. Yeah, 
Alexander out here safely. Okay, Jack. Let's get our drone up. Okay, deep. Medium cover intervening. Okay, glory. Run in, twin slash, this guy. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, Glory. Scatter shot. Um, yeah, we can try and take this guy. Nice. Okay, turret was a good distraction at the very least. I'm sorry, turret. Oh, he's right next to me. Take that. Oh no, I still had my super slash selected. I'm sorry, I hear. Wish we had a frickin' Decker. I almost want to redo this whole thing and take Blitz. Snipe down that hallway. Okay, I can take him out. You, oh. I need haste on no on glory. Why does everybody got to pick on the drone? Glory. 
Kill this guy. Very cool. Let's just have them come to us. There's one guy still, right? Okay, let's just all stack up in here. get their donor list. <laughs> Elf Orc Troll. Wake up, do something. I think we tried both those. Uh, maybe it matters which computer. Wake up. This isn't just a reactor. Do something. Defend ourselves. I wouldn't be Elf Worker Troll. Um, Jumanji. Oh, uh... Safe house. Is that what we needed? No, we needed the donor list. Not helpful. Wait, sorry, that old thing. Oh, numeric key codes. Uh, how do I access that? Oh, sweet.
just have to put them in alphabetical order. So. This would have been a good thing to do before we got into combat. Uh, it would also be a good thing to actually spell it. Donor list, we got it. Okay, Gloria, let's see who we're dealing with still. Nice. Do I not have one of sign on? Oh no, not KP, yeah. like our drone can go into here. Yeah, the drone can loot all those lockers. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but... Heck yeah, you can. So this is Bauer, right? Three, seven, zero, six. Send to stash. Uh, two. So this would be Farber. Uh, 
1409. Alexander, you've seemed less than enthusiastic in our education sessions. Please understand, we're not a shelter, we're a factory. A factory that refines the dross of society, people like you, into strong, pure warriors for humanity. In the future, see to it that you're on time and well rested. If you drop the ball again, we're going to have a little talk about your future in this organization. Alright. We're already open three. This, this is 4176. Oh, some yen. Amazing. Uh, I guess you can hold there, Glory. Iger will chill here. Okay. Let's just go for it. Sorry, Corey. Kind of put her in a bad spot, but. Ooh, but they're bunched up so she can twin strike. There's a lot of people. Okay. Um, so first, Glory, you need to twin slash this one. Steiger again next turn, I think. Friedrich, I'm pleased with how well you're doing. To show my growing trust in you, I'm giving you a new assignment in addition to your trainee duties. Beginning tomorrow, I would like you to tidy the armory. The access code is purity. See that you don't forget it. Tomorrow evening, I will expect to see a full inventory of the weapons in our arsenal by nightfall. With it, you will deliver me a requisition order for the weapon of your choosing. Your pick, my boy. I leave it up to you. Congratulations, this honor is well deserved. And this is Yomata's 2114. It's empty. Garbanzo beans. Um, okay, let's move up. Oh, I forgot about the guy in the corner. Oh my god, Glory, you're amazing at tanking that. Right? Okay, uh, oh, sorry. Who are we hasting again? Iger? and dragon slash. Okay. 
catch up. Deal with this guy. This right. will survive. but all right. Okay, we've got a bunch of loot, so. And it sounded like all of our friends out here are probably dead. You burst through the door to the Humanus compound and into the crisp night air. You're not far from your extraction point. Time to go. Did we get the money for the smugglers? I don't even know. Keep Max alive. Oh, Maxim. Okay. Slide, we have to keep Maxim alive. Okay. You are the 
private haster of Arger. Glory, you are a meat shield. We'd better just get in here before they kill the, all of our smuggler buddies. Not that they're really buddies, yeah, but... Oh, shit, they're gonna kill that lady. Okay, I should've gone more all in here. You. Haste, Iger. Iger, take out this. Heal Iger, please. Not very helpful, but whatever. Just get down there. Hopefully they should open fire.
kill this guy, please. Okay, it's just that one humanity member, I think. Oh yeah, two. Actually hit. Amazing. Haste. Eviscerate. Crazy night, huh? Hope this was worth the trouble. Any hey, luck finding our money in there? Um, Jesus. Well, that sucks. Thank Christ, that's over with. You okay, Alexander? I'm, yeah, Uncle Dietrich. Yeah, I'm okay. But I, those guys, I knew them. One of them was my bunkmate. I killed him. They couldn't be helped. If you hadn't, we'd have killed, he'd have killed you. Believe it. We're gonna take you away from here, back to the KB. Get you the help you need. Yeah, okay, Uncle. Okay. Thanks for this, boss. My nephew's safe, and I owe you. One other thing, the dragon slayer's happy too. We just did a ballsy thing, protected my family, and gave a monster a bloody nose in the process. Glad to hear. You should be. When the dragon slayer's pleased, he tends to be generous with his rewards. I can feel the power coursing through me, boss. I don't know what form it'll take yet. But it's there, and soon enough, I'll be able to use it. I don't need to break this up, guys, but we need to get moving. Kid, you're with us. The rest of you, pile in that other van. Yeah, we leave. The U-Bahn ride home feels especially comforting today. The Berlin chapter of the Humanus Poly Club has suffered a terrible blow, and you're the one who dealt it. Volkerstahl's plan to incite a wave of bloody violence across Berlin has been derailed. It isn't often that a Shadowrunner gets to prevent an atrocity on the job. Cool beans. Jack the Rigger, I have new information to discuss about the estate. Please come as soon as you can. Okay, we have a lot of crap to do. So we have to go to the payphone, we have to notify Luca. Talk to Amsel, notify Humans, okay. 
We have a lot of karma. That's nice to see. Save game. I think I'm gonna call it there. It's time to like, go get lunch. Later.